Hi and welcome to this next video on how to use RefWorks. In this video we're going to be looking at two different things. The first is how you can create a brand new reference from scratch within RefWorks and then the second is going to be having a look at how to use the Save to RefWorks bookmarking tool. This is useful if you've got a resource that you can't create a RefWorks record for through library search or a database. It's essentially enabling you to create one from scratch or to bookmark it if it's say just a website or another online resource. So let's have a look how to create a reference from scratch then. The first place that you go to is to the add icon in the toolbar across the top. Once you've clicked on that in the drop down menu you'll see the bottom option is create new reference. Simply click on that next. Once you've clicked on that, a new window will appear on the right hand side of the page. The first thing to do is to select the resource that you're creating a reference for. You can do this from the drop down menu at the top. Once you've done that, you'll then have to enter a series of information relevant to that type of resource. So with a journal article, we'll need to enter the title, the author's name, the publication date, the volume, the issue number, the journal title, and then the page range. Once you've entered the relevant information for the type of resource, you can then click save at the top right of the page. This will now have created the reference within RefWorks for you. The next step is to show you how to use the bookmarking tool so that you can create references for websites and other online resources. With this example, let's have a look at an online newspaper article. To create a reference for this, all you need to do is first of all go to the web page that you actually want to bookmark and then simply go up to the Save to RefWorks bookmarking tool that we showed you how to add into your browser in an earlier video. All you do then is simply click on that and a new window will appear in the screen. What you've got now is a number of options that you need to check through to make sure all of the information is correct. At the moment with this example it has just recognized it as a web page which in a lot of instances is probably going to be correct. However for this to make it an accurate reference we want to make sure it's for a newspaper article. So to change it we're going to click on the drop down menu and then find newspaper article in the list. Once we've done that, all you need to do is look through the information to make sure it is all correct and you've filled in all of the boxes that you can do. We can see we've got the title. However, we are missing the author's name, which we can see from the side of the page is Karen McVeigh, so we can add that in. We can see with the formatting of The Guardian that we can capitalize the T. The publication date just needs the time zone taking off it. There's no need for page numbers and we've got the URL and the date retrieved. What we can do now is click save to RefWorks at the bottom. You can then click which folder you want to assign it to. Again, we're just going to add it to our dinosaurs essay folder and then click import. We can now click to view it in RefWorks or go back into our RefWorks account and if we refresh the page, it will appear in our references there. And that's all there is to it with the bookmarking tool. You may find with some websites that it picks up some information and not other bits. So do make sure that you check through all of the different fields to make sure that it's imported all of the information that you need for the reference. 